use on our website as our logo. So uh, what we're going to start out with is a little creature, um, a sci-fi bug that I created earlier, um, you probably saw on the website. And um, I started off with an elliptical marquee tool, and I simply dragged out my selection, holding down Shift and Alt, and then when I got it to the uh, roundness that I want like this, I then let go of Shift and uh, continue to drag it out up and down. And as you can see here, I created that shape nicely. I'll go ahead and create a new layer and um, fill it with C2, 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 like so for now. And then I'm going to go ahead and just kind of scale that down a little bit. I'll duplicate that and I'll scale it down even more. And this time I'm going to change the color to a little bit uh, darker color. All right, and so I'll scale it back up, and then I'll move it down so that the edge of it is matched up with the original one, kind of like that. And then I'll also hold down Alt and stretch it out this way some. All right, now the next thing I want to do is I want to delete half of that um, new object there. So about like, about like that. And then I want to go ahead and use my um, marquee tool again and just delete some different sections here. And then I'm going to create the eye area, like so, and then merge those two together. I'll then duplicate that, go to Edit Transform, and I will flip it horizontally. Hold that, hit V and then hold down shift and with my arrow key I will go over to my left until the two images are just touching. All right? And like that, I'll uh, then say that that one right there is done. Alright, let's go ahead and work on the uh, material here for this object. And it's pretty simple. I'm going to do a gradient overlay and I'm going to change it to our bronze gradient that Photoshop comes with. And then I'm going to go ahead and just put this over in the gray areas here, um, trying to keep it generally the same color uh, straight across as close as possible. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and name this silver bug and hit new. And it'll see, it'll put it right there. That way we can come back to it later on. And I'll hit OK on that. And I'll go ahead and use the inner shadow with a distance of zero and I'll make it a little bit bigger and up the choke just a little bit to about 20 and then continue to adjust the size and you can see the bigger we go the more organic it looks alright and then with a bevel and emboss I'll do an outer bevel and I'll up the size a little bit and put the and we'll make sure that that's on zero and ninety and you can see that that really creates a very nice um, uh, look to our object here. And we can play around with the contour a little bit until we get something that we like a little bit more. Um, or you can just leave it alone. I think I'm just going to leave it alone on this one because it, it actually does look pretty good the way it is. And um, I'll then go ahead and do an inner glow. Set that to white. And I'll go ahead and up the size a little bit. And you can see it kind of just smooths it out a little bit more and just downsize that to about 40. All right, and then we can play around with the satin a little bit if we want. Um, again, these are things you can add in if you want. If not, don't worry about it. It all depends on how you want your creature to look in the end. Uh, the end result is what's most important. And um, I don't really think I need it for this particular project, but um, I think this will work. So I'm going to go ahead and hit New Style. And I'll just name this bug underscore 01, and I'll hit OK. Now, if I go ahead and put this other layer on, on top, you'll see that um, it's got a, some harder edges on it. And um, that definitely needs fixing. So what I'm going to do is just select 100 and select the object like that. And uh, actually, I'm sorry, I want to put that at 1. And then I will hit the inverse and hit delete. And you'll see it kind of smooths it out just a little bit. Um, there's still just a hair of um, 
what we don't want on there. So what I'm going to do is just come up into here on a new layer and make sure I have that color. And I'll just put that right in there to make sure that's nice and smooth. And I'll do that on the sides here as well. Alright. Okay. Like that. And then we'll go ahead and select this object down here below. And I will go ahead and deselect. Like so. And then I'll invert that selection. And again, just edit this uh, selection a little bit. Alright, and then I'll hit delete. And then we have a nice round object there that's very smooth looking. Uh, I could also just go ahead and delete half of this object once again uh, after merging these two layers and hit delete. And then duplicate that over to the other side one last time. And that creates a very nice organic shape for us. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and go to my styles menu and I'll go ahead and apply. That's